skis, like right after I did my first turn, my skis went like this under the snow, oh and I thought I'm gonna eat shit. And like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I, ooh, I had my skis crossed under the snow, and I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> I think the most surprising thing about this trip was like how hard it is to ski in the backcountry like with the different snow conditions with so much lighter skis than I'm used to. Like I thought it's just skiing like as usual but it, I was actually surprised how much harder it makes it if you have like different equipment. My name is Julia Tano, I'm 25 years old and I'm from Lenzerheide and I'm a professional free skier. I landed on the second one and I was like, that was loose, but I kind of want to do it, so I just did. I'm Sarah Hofflin, I come from Geneva in Switzerland, I'm 32 years old and I'm a professional skier on the Swiss free ski team. My name is Mathilde Grumeau, I'm 23 years old. I come from this small village in Fribourg called La Roche. I'm a freestyle skier. I compete in bigger and slope style. I was pretty buzzy with the end of the season and like a few events and I didn't really have time to think about what we we're going to do or what we were going to experience. I definitely thought that it was going to be cool and I was super excited and looking forward to it. And then now having experienced it, I think it was like way cooler than uh, what I expected. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's so quiet. I think I had this idea of like okay we're going to, we're going on a sailing boat we're going ski touring every day it's going to be fun i didn't think about it before but now that i did it i'm like i'm super lucky i got to do this and i don't think i would have ever done it if it wasn't for this movie and now i definitely feel like i want to do something like that again Svalbard is an island up in the Arctic Circle, north of Norway. It took us two days to reach Longyearbyen, which is the small town where most people live. It's an island that's about the same size as Switzerland, with 1,500 people and 3,000 polar bears. So you don't really get to see them very often. It's so different to, to where we live. Like, it's just white. I don't know, that's, that's what would explain it the best is like wide open scenery with mountains and everything is white and then when you get to see the sea there's like this contrast of white and blue but it's it's insane how how beautiful it is uh, even though there's not much i also never looked anything up like i i never wanted to really see how it looks i kind of knew a little bit but I didn't want to see like the whole scenery and everything too much because I was like, I just want to be surprised <laughs> by the whole experience. I have a lot of uh, respect and like zero experience in mountaineering. Therefore, I was a little bit scared going there. And I was like, what if I am not able to ski or what if I really don't feel comfortable skiing down like a mountain or a couloir where I feel unsafe? Obviously we had a guide and I was surprised about how and how chill I was about everything in mountain safety because I I felt super safe with the crew and um, super safe with our guide. Mm. Oh my god. Wolfie, I don't know if I'm qualified for this. I was surprised about how that changed in my head from before the trip and during the trip.
so Wolfgang was really amazing. Um, I thought he was such a perfect guide for this trip. Hi. Hi. Wolfgang. My name is Wolfgang Huber. I am from Austria and I'm a mountain guide. I always wanted to go to Svavart. It's a very interesting place. It's remote and it has some nice mountains and some nice skiing. I think this coming year will be my seventh year, I believe. He got to know us before we left and he was really conscious that we hadn't done much ski touring before. Uh, it just made me really confident about the skiing we were going to do and I just wasn't scared, I think, thanks to him. So yeah, it was really nice and super easy to just follow him along and uh, I just really trusted him. We landed on a different island today and now we're going to try to ski this couloir up there. And I've never skied a couloir in my life. But they just told me that I shouldn't be too nervous. So it should be good. It was a bit scary. Scratchy. Like at first it was a bit scratchy and then it got more fun and more fun and more fun and in the end it was very fun. And then I almost missed where we should stop. So <laughs> I think that's a sign. When you're walking up, I felt like it's pretty steep to ski down, but in the end it was super fun. It was way nicer than I expected it to be. Oh, that was so fun! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, I was like constantly worrying, but, I, but in a way it was so fun. Oh, so much less steep than I thought. Yeah. Like, when we were on top of the mountain and you click into your skis, I was like, okay, yeah. Actually, like I know how to ski, I just have to trust myself that I can also ski down this type of mountain and not just a park. I think it has a lot to do with just like trusting yourself and be like, okay, I, I got this. It was good, but I can't remember which turns I did where, what, when. I'm too focused on getting down and not crashing. I loved the sailing. I really did. I got to sail quite a lot, I think. Yeah, just trying to go as fast as we can. It's the first super windy day that we've had since we've been here, so it's pretty exciting. Oh, do. Hell yeah! The boat was so much bigger and so much better than I expected it to be. The food was way better. It was just so cold being out there. I just never realized how beautiful it was really going to be. You know, you're sailing, you're in the middle of the ocean and you just have these beautiful mountains just sticking out straight out of the water and I've never seen it before and it's incredible. The crew of the boat was amazing. Like I think we were so lucky with with the people that we had on the boat. Like our guide was amazing, and then our deckhand and the captain were so nice. They really made the experience so much better than I could have ever imagined. Thank you, super captain. I thought it was going to be pretty ghetto, to be honest. I thought we were going to be super grubby. We were not gonna eat that good food. I don't know, the food, it felt like we were in a, in a five-star hotel or something.
usually you're so distracted like with the phones with everything and it was just so nice to just be there in that moment and enjoy the whole trip like with the people that are there And I think this, this run was probably the coolest moment. From when we left the boat to the top of the couloir, we only walked because we were like skiing literally into the water. We skied it in two or three or even four different parts, like a part together and then some parts like the top we were all solo and I think it was really cool and like just the view was super sick because at the top we dropped like this side that we hiked up but we could have dropped on the other side and we were just like up here and both of the sides were just water so it was I think it was my favorite moment. We were on top of the mountain and it was just like beautiful scenery just like you see it on the pictures I don't know it was just so amazing to see this completely different scenery and to be able to ski down there like into the sea it's something you yeah you can't really describe Just to be clear, I get super seasick, so no marito for me, but I work for the others. So here we are in the middle of the Arctic, sailing around. We're going the wrong way, but we don't care because this is all a big game. And uh, yeah, back to you, Jaka. It's awesome to have you on your show. Thank you very much. I forgot to put the SD card. I'm just yoloing. He did. He just left. <laughs> 